Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Question and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is, how can you replace an existing key or an element in an object? This is a use case that you will use almost day on a daily basis when you're working on a client or enterprise level applications. Manipulating an object is something that is extremely helpful, extremely useful and extremely critical so that you don't have to write a lot of code. Let's learn all about it in today's episode. This is question number 37 of the series. Before I get started, I'll request you to check out the same JavaScript coding snippet ebook. It covers 108 questions, which will help you become better developer, improve your logic, and also help you crack any interviews. You can check out the ebook at rtutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, please write to me at surya.aradhi at gmail.com. Alright, so today's question is how can you replace an existing element in an object? Very simple, straightforward, very similar to what we covered in the last episode, which is using spread operator. The use of spread operator is such extremely critical because it can do a lot of things so that your logic or your number of lines of code drastically reduces. I'll show you an example of it. Let's get started in this case by using spread operator. All right, I'm going to throw in script and let's create an object, right? Now, this is an object we are creating. Uh, let's call it original object and give some values. So it's a key, val key value pair, right? It's an object. <coughs> so element, um, let's again give something simple. and okay so we have an object now what we need to do is create insert a new element or override an existing element in today's episode we are learning how to override that value so we are going to say modified object equal to we'll use the spread operator and spread that object and then we will pass the new value see here it is 4334 now I'm going to say 555 and that's the updated value console.log modified object right that's it now let's see the output so now if you see here the zip value is 5555 that means we are overriding an existing value of an element in an object by just giving the same name of the element the key should be same okay if it's different it will add it but if it's different it will update it automatically very very uh, helpful use case because a lot of times you're manipulating data appending removing and all that this is the best way to do this is the only way that you should do so that you don't lose your original object at the same time you are just updating it based on certain condition right that's how you will go about updating an existing element in an object with a new value using spread operator right i hope it's clear when you do that automatically it will match the element name what if it matches it will overwrite the value okay i hope it's clear i hope you're enjoying this series as much as i am uh, bringing it to you please do check out the ebook for more such co javascript coding questions you can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, do write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in the next episode.